New demolition at the Tropicana property still underway, but a problem may be brewing just outside it. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer tells us about a demolition wall there, which is generating some unwanted attention. James? Brian Denise, the 10 foot tall plywood wall is what separates the Tropicana from the rest of the Las Vegas Strip as demolition is underway. But residents saying that the wall is becoming a bit of an eyesore. Vacant or unfinished Las Vegas properties typically don't have a lot of beauty on the inside, but on the outside, there's usually something to hide what's being done with them. But at the Tropicana, their 10 foot tall demolition wall already attracting unwanted posters and even vandalism. So there'll be a decommissioning. The Gaming Commission approving the wall and other plans back in March of this year ahead of demolition. Now, could the wall also get a makeover of its own, like a vinyl wrap, a mural, or maybe some artwork? We also want to know, with plywood, what could be done? We're talking about a temporary wall here. Phil Limon, co-owner of ISI Group, reminded us value is in the eye of the beholder. I think there's an opportunity to coexist here. You know what I mean? We coexist with them. We work with, you know, all sorts of artists, vandals or not, and we get paid to put on murals. And, you know, they chose a path to continue their artwork in a different way and make statements in the way that they make them. And, you know, we stand in solidarity with them. And Limon saying there are better ways to respond, such as working through artistic businesses or advertisers. You quietly repair the artwork and you move forward. You do not advertise it. You do not put it on social media and do not advertise and call the news to draw attention to it. You simply repair the work and you go about your business. Now, other properties have put up vinyl wraps around their projects during construction, such as Resorts World and also the Las Vegas Convention Visitors, or sorry, Las Vegas Convention Center. Another option is just simply putting up a chain link fence. Reporting live from the Tropicana, James Schaefer, 8 News Now. Now, James did reach out to Bally's for a response. It says once plans are finalized, they'll share them.